Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to learn about null math. What is null math, you ask? Well, it's something where when you add anything to null, it becomes null. And you can use this to your advantage when doing string concatenation and putting different strings together. Now, if you don't know what concatenation is, putting like first name and last name together, for example, in a query field or in a form field, Go watch my concatenation video. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Also, go watch my calculated fields video. Okay? So now that you're familiar with concatenation, you can use it in a query to put together, for example, first name and last name in like a greeting line. Dear, first name, and a space, and last name, and then a comma. Now, if both first name and last name have values in them, you get dear Richard Ross, comma. But let's say last name is null. What happens is you get dear Lauren and then a space and then the null value because that space goes there. So you get this awkward looking space before your comma. So what we do with null math is we say we put it in parentheses, okay? And then we take last name and then we add it to that space character. And what happens is anything plus null equals null, all right? So if last name is null, that space becomes a null, right? This whole thing evaluates to null. So you'll get dear Richard, and then if Ross is there, you'll get Richard Ross with the space, right? And then the comma, like that. But if Lauren doesn't have a last name, that space goes away because you're adding it to null. Same thing if you're adding first name and spouse and last name, right? With concatenation, you'll get Joe and Sue Smith. But, Let's say spouse is null, all right? That and is going in there either way with concatenation. So you get Joe and space Smith. Looks really awkward. But if you know how to use null math, look, you take that and and you add it to spouse. That way, if spouse is null, this whole thing evaluates to null, right? And you get first name and space last name. So you get Joe and Sue Smith or just Joe Smith. And yeah, there's other ways to do this too with a whole bunch of if statements and all that, but this is really easy, isn't it? So here I am in a query that I put together, right? I got first name, last name, and spouse. Those are my fields. And here are the different greetings right there. All right, dear Joe Smith, this is with concatenation and this is with null math, okay? You can see here, for example, with Deanna, she doesn't have a last name. So you get dear Deanna space comma, okay? Whereas with the null math, that space goes away. Okay, here's concatenation with the spouse. Okay, Deanna's missing a spouse. Over here with null math, it goes away. And if I take a look at it in design view, here is the one with the concatenation. I'll zoom in so you can see it, right? Greeting one, dear, first name, and a space, and last name. All right, here's greeting two. And there it is with null math. See, just like I had in the slide. All right, spouse one with concatenation and the good one with null math right there. So that's null math. Now, I do have a more complicated video for combining names together if you get spouses with different last names. It takes a couple of nested if functions. You can do it, but it's a little more complicated. But again, this is a free video. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. You can just click on it and go watch this video too. See, this one will show you if you got James Kirk and Carol Marcus and put some together like that. That's it for Null Math. If you like this video, give me a like and a share. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more Access and you haven't checked out my 4-hour Access Beginner Level 1 class, it's absolutely free. There's a link right there. I'll put one down below you can click on. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.